One of the most important functions of animal nervous systems is the control of locomotion, the ability to move from one place to another. Vertebrates typically display one of two basic types of locomotor behaviors. In the majority of fish species, locomotion is driven by the activation of muscles located along the spine, a type of locomotion referred to as undulatory. In land vertebrates, ambulatory motor behavior such as walking requires a precise control of muscles in the limbs. Since land vertebrates evolved from fish-like ancestors, one of the questions our lab has been interested in is when the neurons essential for limb-based locomotion first appeared. A common view is that during evolution, there was a gradual transition from the undulatory type of locomotion used by fish to the limb-based system of land vertebrates. While most fish use muscles located along the spine for swimming, there are exceptions to this rule. In skates and rays, the spine remains relatively immobile and the large pectoral fins are used for generating propulsion. More remarkably, in some species of skate, the pelvic fins can be used to generate walking-like behaviors. Here you can see a skate using its pectoral fins for swimming. When on the seafloor, skates can also use its smaller pelvic fins to walk. This behavior shows striking similarities to the movement of legs of land vertebrates during walking, including both left-right alternation and reciprocal extension and flexion of the pelvic fins. How did walking evolve in skates? To address this question, we have to understand a little bit about the types of neurons necessary for locomotion. The patterns of muscle contraction used during behavior are coordinated by motor neurons located in the brain and spinal cord. Different behaviors require distinct populations of motor neurons. For example, in mammals, breathing requires a dedicated group of motor neurons necessary to contract muscles associated with lungs. Walking uses motor neurons that are located specifically at limb levels of the spinal cord. These distinct motor neuron types are generated through genetic programs that act during early embryonic development. Most cell types, including motor neurons, are specified through the actions of proteins called transcription factors. Transcription factors act as molecular switches by binding to DNA and turning genes on or off. In land vertebrates, the generation of limb motor neurons requires the actions of a transcription factor called FOXP1. FOXP1 regulates a large number of genes important for motor neuron development, including guidance molecules, adhesion proteins, and other transcription factors. Limb motor neurons further differentiate through the actions of additional transcription factors, such as islet 1 and LHX1, which are necessary for motor neurons to control limb extension and flexion. In order to examine motor neuron specification in skates, we have to look at their early development. Skates develop inside an egg case, which makes it easy to access embryos to study their early development. As embryos, the most prominent locomotor output is from the tail. This tail eventually regresses after the animal hatches. By looking at sections of embryonic skate spinal cord and analyzing specific molecular markers, we were able to show that skates express many of the same transcription factors and other molecules present in the motor neurons of land vertebrates. In addition, we found that the initial pattern of motor neuron connections to muscles is very similar to those of land vertebrates. Here you can see in a section through the skate fin that the axons of motor neurons separate into dorsal and ventral branches. The dorsal branch innervates muscles involved in fin extension, while the ventral branch innervates flexor muscles. This pattern is similar to those of land vertebrates. Walking and other types of rhythmic behaviors rely on networks of neurons called central pattern generators, or CPGs. In land vertebrates, CPGs control both the left-right alternation and reciprocal extension and flexion of legs during walking. CPGs are composed of neurons that either excite or inhibit motor neurons. Like motor neurons, CPG interneurons can be defined by expression of specific transcription factors. We found that many of these CPG interneurons are shared between skates and land vertebrates. Our results indicate that both skates and land vertebrates use highly conserved gene regulatory networks to generate the neuronal populations necessary for walking. These findings suggest that the common ancestor to skates and land vertebrates already had many of the developmental programs in place to generate a relatively complex type of motor behavior. While there's still much work to be done to determine whether the circuitry governing walking and skates is analogous to those of land vertebrates, the relative simplicity of skate fin musculature may provide a useful model system to decipher the basic wiring of circuits essential for limb control. This work can provide important information relevant to repairing spinal circuits damaged by disease or injury.